Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your document to Adobe Illustrator. Now, I don't do this until I have absolutely everything done in here that I want to have done. So even if I may draw my own graphic scale and North Arrow and Illustrator, I still put them in here uh, simply so I know what direction and what the actual scale is. Um, now, because I want to do just kind of a gradient color ramp in Illustrator, I'm not going to necessarily worry about doing my legend in here other than I will note my numbers. However, if it was land use categories or something of that sort, then I would do my legend in here just so I could get my color and set up out. Uh, and then I can always turn it off or delete it in Illustrator. So one way to do this is simply to have everything set up, be in your page layout, go to File, and you want to export your map. Now, uh, your options for Illustrator are AI. So change your file type. Just make sure you browse to where you want, name it what you want, change the file type to Illustrator. And then the things here you want to do is output image quality for printing files. I set the 300. And because I don't know what necessarily I'm doing, I always default to 300 and export it out. And then if I need to email something, once I create my poster in Illustrator, I will just save it as a PDF at a lower rate. I will also clip output to graphic extents. And then I click this tab called Format. And Again, if I don't know what I'm doing, I'll probably default to CMYK because that's the print. RGB, I tend to do for um, web or PowerPoints, which, you, again, if you're in CMYK, you can always change that in Photoshop or Illustrator. A picture symbol. So these are, um, if you have particular point symbol files or uh, certain kinds of drawing or text in here, uh, you can choose what to do with that. You can either rasterize layers, you can vectorize them, um, you can rasterize layer with any picture or with map color fills. I'm going to leave this as a default for now. Um, if it doesn't behave in Illustrator how you want, come back and try to re-export it because uh, some of this can change it. Um, you can convert marker symbols to polygons or you can use, uh, the, I always use display expression for item name in order to have some things line up like they are here in Illustrator, although it doesn't always work out that way, but at least it's a start and it'll help. Um, but I'll show you what I mean by that uh, in a little bit. So then I'm just going to go to make sure I have it saved in the correct place. And to me, this is a process data. Uh, Illustrator files are uh, what I would consider maps. And I'm just going to save it here and click Save. And then once this is done saving, we'll pick up an Illustrator and I'll show you some other tips and tricks uh, of what this actually looks like when it comes out. Hello and welcome back. In this part of the video, I'm going to show you what it looks like to open up the program or your Adobe Illustrator document into Adobe Illustrator. So when you first double click on your Adobe Illustrator document, um, I have Illustrator on my Mac, um, but the same thing goes for Windows. Uh, you'll notice it gets this error, and that's typically because uh, not all fonts are in Illustrator or ArcMap or Windows or Mac. Uh, so typically you'll get an error saying it's looking for a kind of text or font, and so it has to be converted. And that's okay. You just click Update, and what it'll do is it'll find the closest match and put it in there. Um, you can always go back and edit it later. And so you can see here now we have vector files for all of this information. Um, and the one thing I really wanted to point out was if we open up our layers in Illustrator, uh, it does a reasonably good job of keeping data frame names and layer types, but some things get a little messed up. Um, we always get this kind of clip group or other. Um, well, what that is, is that's actually the data frame boundary. Um, but you can always just turn that off and you can see it kind of go on and off there. Um, likewise, uh, once you kind of drill down into uh, your census data, you'll notice that you get these weird um, clips and groups and whatnot, um, and that gets kind of uh, cumbersome. And so I tend to get, like I said, things as close as possible in um, ArcMap, so that way I don't have to do a whole lot of editing over here, but just know that uh, you can do some editing, uh, and that's always helpful because you can get some really customized then um, 
things like graphic scales. If we uh, created a new layer here, we could uh, create a graphic scale um, that's, or I'm sorry, not a graphic scale, but a gradient scale for the colors. Uh, that, that kind of thing is done a lot easier in here. Um, and so that's Adobe Illustrator and how to get ArcMap documents into Adobe Illustrator. Thanks.